At Summit Fire EMS Station 12, Wildland Fire Coordinator Kyle Eisminger is loading up his truck. So water, safety gear, shelter, radio, chainsaw. And preparing for the fall by preparing Dude, that sound right? for wildfires. Fall could be an interesting time. With a lot of that summer moisture slowing. That faucet turned off that we've had all summer. In a matter of days, wildfire dangers picking back up with conditions drying out fast. It was like a switch just flipped and we got hot, we got dry. In fact, fire conditions in Summit County have gone from low to high in a matter of days. And they've already had one wildfire pop up this fall. A little one acre fire caused by lightning. That fire wasn't big, but a reminder of the dry conditions and why firefighters are asking people to be cautious as they head out to see leaves or during the hunting season. We've had human caused fires in the fall. Um, fairly frequently in Summit County. Because Kyle says the outlook for fall is for more dry, warm weather. Yeah, so our outlooks are calling for drier and warmer weather and for, for at least the next um, 120 days. That hopefully comes without any smoke. We all love the fall around here. Can be a beautiful time for sure. This past week in Summit County, some of the daytime temperatures got as warm as they do at the height of summer. The good news, Gary, is in the evenings now that we're getting into the fall season, the temperatures are starting at night to drop into the 40s. But of course, as people still camp and as hunting season starts, that means they're going to want those campfires. They need to be extra cautious. Absolutely, they do. And um, there's a little rain forecast for the next day or two, so maybe maybe that'll continue and, and help things up there. We can only hope. Matt, thanks. Right. Every little bit helps. Right. Thanks.